Welcome to Intera Technologies Quick Setup Guide of a Wireless Network. Our application will be to provide wireless security camera monitoring to a parking lot. The hardware needed will be a computer, two Intera APX 3100s that can be access points, bridges, or clients, an Intera FCU 1802P-SC power over Ethernet media converter, an Intera LMP 800 AGH PoE switch, outdoor PoE cameras, and a power supply. The setup will have the main office network connected to a media converter which will be powering our access point on our roof. In the parking lot we will have a power supply that is powering our PoE switch which is powering the two security cameras and also the client device that is connecting to the access point on our roof. Antero products do not require software but will have web-based management. Most PoE cameras will require software. In our case we will be using easy IP setup. A test environment should be used on a separate network before putting the actual application on the main network. To set up the IP address of the computer, we will first go to the Start menu. We will then select My Computer. From the My Computer, we want to go to My Network Places. Within the My Network Places, we want to go View Network Connections. Within the network connections, we will want to go to the local area connection. From the local area connection, we will want to go to the properties. Within the local area connection properties, we will want to scroll down to the TCP IP selection. We will then select properties. Here is going to be the IP information for the computer. It is best to leave this information alone. We'll go ahead and select the Advanced button. Here we can put in IP addresses that are outside our subnet of the computer so that our computer can go ahead and talk to them. We want to press the Add button. Currently the computer and the APX 3100s will be on the same subnet which is matching the first three number segments. We will always want to have a different fourth number segment. The camera is the only device that is on a different subnet so it will need to be added to the list. Here we can see that the camera has been added to our list of IP addresses. We will then want to select OK and close all the boxes to finalize the changes. We will then need to set up our first APX 3100 as an access point. To do, to do this, we will open up an internet browser and put in the default IP information. We will then be prompted with a login. The default information is as follows. To change the IP address of the APX 3100, we'll go to the Systems tab. Within the Systems tab, we'll go to the TCP IP settings. Because we're using multiple APX 3100s, we'll want to make sure that the IP addresses are different. We will then select Apply to finalize the changes. When changing the IP address, you will be prompted to log back into the unit under the new IP address. To set up the first APX 3100 as an access point, we will go to the Wireless tab. At as default, the APX 3100 is set up as an access point. We will then go to the profile settings to configure the access point. The 
The APX3100 can support over a dozen different SSID profiles. To configure one, we will click on one of the profiles, in our case, Profile 1. Within the profile settings, the user can select information such as the profile name, the SSID of the unit, and any security information that they might want to set up. We will need to select Apply to finalize the changes that we have made. To verify that the changes have been saved, go to the Status page. Here under the wireless settings we can see that the access point has been set up for the ROOF AP. We will now set up the second APX3100 as a client. We will first log into the APX3100 by opening up an internet browser and putting in the default IP information. We will then be prompted to log into the device. To change the IP address, we will go to the Systems tab. Within the Systems tab, we will want to go to the TCP IP settings. We want to make sure that the IP address is different from our access point. To activate the changes, we will press the Apply button. Because we have changed the IP address, we will need to log back onto the unit under the new default IP address. To set up the unit as a wireless client, we will go to the Wireless tab. As default, the operation mode will be Access Point. We will want to change this to Wireless Client. We will then select the Apply button to finalize the change. When the unit is set up as a wireless client, we will want to select the Site Survey button to look for local access points. Here we can see the list of all the local access points to our client device. On the list is the ROOF AP that we had previously set up. We will want to select the Select AP button. We want to apply the changes to finalize them. We will then go to the Profile Settings tab. Within the Profile Settings, this is where we will enter all the security information that we set up for the roof access point. We will then need to apply the change settings for the security settings. To verify that the changes have been made, we will go to the Status tab. On the Status page, under the Wireless settings, we can see that the client has connected to the roof access point. We will now need to set up the IP information for the IP camera. We will be using the Easy IP Setup software to change the IP address and view the IP address. Here we can see the default IP information from the camera. We want to select IP settings. Here we will want to change the IP address so that it is within the subnet of our system. This will be simply done by typing in a different IP address that is within our subnet. We will then want to press the Apply button. By running the Easy IP Setup program again, we can verify that the new IP address is there. To view the camera, we will simply open up an internet browser and put in the IP address of the camera. The user will then be directed to open up the PoE camera viewing software. 
The user can make any changes to the camera they want by going to the Setup button. You will then be prompted to log into the camera. Once you have logged into the camera, you can make any number of changes within the Setup button. Thank you for watching.